Carson Traffic, Life Sport Trike, on the go, runway 27. We'll be exiting to the south, Carson. Carson Traffic, Cessna 3 Sierra, turning base 27. Okay, the rotate. Lancer, Niner, Stuck Off, Trek Left, Crosswind. This is A3 Sierra, be full stop. screens we have here. Now what we've got is number number one is our basic steam gauges. Here we've got our airspeed, altitude, rate of climb, RPM, engine instruments. We can see we've got a little warning. traffic helicopter 342 Juliet is clear of all active. We got a little warning light here since we're a little bit above uh, 1150 EGT. We've also got our UTC time, stopwatch, flight time, glide ratio, ambient temperature, supply voltage, all kinds of things. And we go to our other screen, which is our attitude indicator. That's a little bumpy here. This is a little bit overactive. Cars traffic lights are anything we got from left base runway 27 full stop. Then we go to our nav screen. Now this has got our GPS, engine instruments, RPM, and our attitude indicator here with our regular glass panel. Now this is the screen I like the best because this has got our GPS screen here. It's got our uh, basic glass panel instruments with ground speed, headwind, airspeed, true airspeed, altitude, barometer, direction. Because your traffic says an A3 And then we can go to our full map. Here we've got our full map. Now it's actually getting pretty nasty down here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our the screen that I really like. Okay, we're going to go to another airport here. So what we do is we hit car traffic lights are there to go down for zero for nearest. Runway two seven full stop. I'm jerky. Okay, we see all our different airports here. So we choose. It's got an arrow in the distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one. Okay, MEV. And we see our frequencies come up. What we're going to do is we're going to select our communication frequency here, three. We can see one, two, three, zero, five, zero. We're going to hit three. So we switch that over to our active frequency. Now we're going to take this active frequency and we're going to move it over to our standby. Now we're going to hit our AWOS for Minden, two. So now we're on our AWOS for Minden. That's our active frequency. Minden Tahoe Airport, automated weather observation. Two, zero, zero, one, Zulu weather. Wind missing. Visibility more than one, zero. Sky condition, seven thousand. Standard. Temperature, one Celsius. Two point minus three Celsius. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, six. Okay, so now we're going to switch that over to our standby, and now our frequency is active here. Now what we're going to do no is we're going to hit enter. And we can see how it's established our new waypoint here. And we're headed away from it. We're going to zoom in on our screen a little bit. And we're going to turn towards the airport now. And you can see us turning here. And there we go. Now we're headed right for the airport. And there we go. Uh, I've been traffic, money, 72 Yankee, and then the right base for 3434. Three, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we can, we're going to head for another airport here. We can see here our waypoint is right here. And we're going to go ahead and hit zero to find all our nearest airports. We can see all the different airports listed here with a distance and the direction. So we're going to hit two. Now what we see here is all our different frequencies. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our, our frequency here, our communication frequency. So we're going to hit three. We're going to see how this is going to switch over here. So we hit three here and it switches over to our communication frequency. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this communication frequency over to our standby. Niner, seven. Okay, and then hit our AWOS number two 
to make automated weather observation two zero this zero. active so now we've got our carson active AWOS right here, we're a little bit out of range, so we're not here. Ceiling, 6,000 broken. Go. Temperature, 2 Celsius. Two okay. point minus 6 Celsius. Altimeter, 2 Niner, Niner, 6. And then we can make our communication fre frequency active, and we hit enter, and now we'll see that now we have a brand new uh, line here to our next waypoint, which is, which is the Carson Airport. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, another airport here. You can see how our Carson current waypoint is Carson. So we're going to switch over to this airport right here, which we can see. And we can see that's KMEP. So what we're going to do is hit our nearest airports. We can see all of our different airports right here with an arrow pointing to it and the distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit one for this airport. And what happens is now we see our frequencies pop up. So we're going to hit our communication frequency here, number three, and, and this is going to switch over from our old frequency to our active frequency. So we're going to hit three. And you can see how that uh, active frequency has switched over now to what we selected here, number three. And we're going to move that over to our standby. And now we're on, on our, our last AWOL. So we're going to hit our new AWOS here, number two. Temperature one Celsius, two point. So minus now it's our new AWOS Celsius. here for altimeter two for niner niner six. Okay, we can listen to our AWOS. Minden Tahoe Airport automated weather observation two zero zero eight Zulu weather wind missing visibility more than one zero sky condition two clouds at seven thousand temperature one Celsius two point minus four Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner six two niner niner six. So we're going to switch over to our calm frequency, and we're going to hit that. We're going to hit zero and make that our new waypoint. See how? It's, so it's going to switch from there. Now here's our new waypoint, two nine nine six. So we're pretty close. So our, our our altimeter and everything's set. So now we've got our active frequency here. We've got our AWOS here. We can switch of course back and forth. Four Celsius between those, and we're headed for our airport. We've got our you can see how we are 3.5 miles. Estimated time of arrival is about three minutes with our current current direction here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch a switch to a new waypoint here. Here's our old waypoint. So we're gonna hit zero. And we can see how all of our air, our closest airports come in and with a direction of the airport and the distance. So we're gonna hit two to hit that as our next waypoint. And the frequencies come up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit three to get our communication frequency. Now you'll see how it'll switch to one, two, three, zero, five, zero, to one, two, three, zero, zero, zero. When I hit three. So I can hit three. That switches over. Now we can see that's our active frequency here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that to our standby. Minden Tahoe Airport automated and weather we're hit observation. Two, two to get our zero, AWOS one, for one, Zulu weather. Carson. Wind missing. So now we're on our AWOS for Carson. Now we're a little out of range here, so it is not uh, registering. But now we've got our AWOS frequency here, standby here. So we're going to go back to our standby. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter, and that's going to bring us to our new waypoint. So now we're headed for that airport. We've got our active communication frequency here. Our AWOS here on standby, and we can go back and forth between those two. And there we are. The first screen we're going to look at is our, uh, I call it the steam gauges screen. We've got our airspeed, our altitude, our vertical speed, and our RPM, our engine instruments. And here we've got our UTC time, we've got our flight time, we've got glide ratio, ambient temperature, supply voltage, all kinds of things. Our other screen here is our attitude indicator screen, okay, with our general glass panel display. We've also got our multi-screen. This is a little bit much here, but it's a, it's a nice screen. It's got our attitude here, our map, our engine instruments, 
So this is also a nice screen. It's got all of our information over here. Now, over here we can change those screens by switching the arrow here. So we've got all kinds of flexibility. Now the screen I like, the screen I like is the route. This is nice because it's got all your engine instruments here, uh, your, your typical glass panel instruments, your uh, altitude, rate of descent, altimeter uh, setting, very, uh, your direction, ground speed, headwind, airspeed, your engine instruments down here. This is pretty nice. And then of course your full map. And another interesting one here is this. Now this shows you what direction you're going and what is ahead of you. So if you're looking at terrain, we're going to start climbing now, which of course, and we can see how we can look at our terrain here. We can see we're in a reasonably good climb right here to make it over that. I'm going to let off on the throttle. And then of course we've got our our other screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and report in. Traffic Life Sport Trike is four miles uh, south. Uh, we'll be entering a 45 for left traffic runway 27 Carson.